Hey everyone, I am back with another tutorial today for you. My name is Erin Gifford. I have been a freelance graphic designer. Um, well, I've been a graphic designer for f over 15 years, but I started freelancing about three years ago. And um, I have a new tutorial for you today in Illustrator. And <clears throat> I have to be honest, I'm kind of torn on this one today. Um, when I search on YouTube, it is it comes up as one of the you know popular tutorials for Illustrator, but a I've never heard of or used this tool, and b I'm not over the top impressed with it. But you are not me, and my job is to spread Illustrator love throughout the world. And maybe this is the most greatest tool for you and what you do, but so it's my job to tell you how to use it. And the tool we're going to be talking about today is over here on your palette, um, I don't know, almost like a third of the way down, it's called the Shaper Tool. And it's kind of cool, I just have not grasped how I would actually use it in a real case scenario. Um, let me show you what it does though. If you select the tool, what it does is it turns your, you, okay, first select the tool and then you click and drag and I'm going to draw a really imperfect square. I mean, look at that. See how not perfect that is? Well, Illustrator just takes and creates a perfect square for you. Um, it also does it with circles. Let's see how close I can come to... <laughs> that is really bad. Um, but hey, look at that. It makes it a perfect circle. And I guess in the whole reality of things, it's cool. And Illustrator can take an imperfect shape and make it a shape. Um, I think it also works. Let me try a triangle. Yep, it does a triangle too. But here's the thing, I wish that it would make like a heart, but watch, when I try to make a heart, it doesn't do it because if you see this message up here in the left hand corner, the shaper tool can't understand it. So on one hand, I think it's cool that Illustrator can do that, but on the other hand, I can draw a triangle in less time than it would take me to actually select the Shape Builder tool, or the Shaper tool. So I kind of wish that it would expand its horizons, and let's say that I wanted to make a cloud. Yeah. It, it doesn't recognize that, so I'm not over the top in love with this tool, but I also feel like it's my job as an Illustrator user to just let you know that this tool exists, and if you can find a purpose for it in your creative uses, then I'm all for it. And you know what? Even better, if you use this tool all the time, or if you're completely enamored by this tool, leave a comment below because let's start the let's start a discussion and let's um, maybe get Adobe in on this and be like, hey, it, this is a cool tool. However, we need to make it a little bit more efficient and a little bit more intense because, like I said, I can draw a perfect circle. I can draw a perfect square with the with these tools um, just as quick I feel like than the time it takes to move my cursor over to select the shaper tool. Anyway, maybe I am completely biased. I would love to hear your opinions. But um, so that is how you use the shape shaper tool and that is my tutorial for the day. Uh, I hope to find a new even better tool or use or tutorial for next week. So wish me luck. Thank you to all my loyal subscribers. Oh, and at the end of this video, you'll see a link for 
my newest offer. I'm offering three ebooks, my three most popular ebooks for the price of two. So you get one for free. And there's a link um, on this video to view it and purchase it, or there's a link down below. So if you're looking to dive all into Illustrator, give that special offer a chance and um, you'll have everything you need for Illustrator at your fingertips. Until next week, have a great week.